Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we're going to take a look at what you should be doing before the end of the Saiyan Day celebration on DBZ Doka Metal Global and JP currently. Now of course the Saiyan Day celebration ends on the 2nd of April and there's a couple of things you're probably going to want to make sure that you get done before the end of the celebration to make sure that you maximize the Dragon Stones but also the benefits that you can obtain from it. Remember that there is a pretty limited selection of characters and rosters that you can do to run these contents so you need a little bit of time to prepare for anything if you're unable to clear it. So starting with Ultimate Clash, obviously expiring in two days and starting with Burst Mode which is also going to expire relatively soon as well. Both of these things are pretty imperative and high focal points for you to obviously get ahead on. There's also the missions for the actual campaign itself which is something that you're going to want to get done. And these missions are obviously dropping a lot of great rewards, but also are only up for a limited time. You also need to claim them before the expiry of the campaign missions. Now, let's talk a little bit about content. Nothing that was added in was too temporary. Most of it is permanent content, things like the IDVH, things like the SBR stages and ESBR stages. Obviously try and Doken Awaken your Vegeta, uh, if possible that you have from the actual event itself if you do have him and it's more important really for the extremes battles uh, there were quite a few easy A's that were added in uh, for quite a few units so not only for super vegeta uh, but also for agl super vegeta as well who is a subunit on his banner so you need to actually go and farm again the medals for him you're going to want to go and farm the super easy A medals for super saiyan 3 goku and there are two more units that you're going to want to farm the medals for in the form of Cell Jr. and in the form of Android 16. So there's quite a few units uh, that ultimately at the end of the day have received their easy A's and are probably units you're going to want to Extremes Awaken. I know Android 16 is a pretty good one. AGL Super Vegeta is also looking really good. So there's quite a few units that I think players should probably go and process and get their hands on, uh, at least from my side. But yeah, uh, realistically speaking, a lot of the easy A's, uh, these won't expire straight away, so you will be able to grab them later on. But please make sure that you grab them uh, because they will probably expire shortly into the next celebration. And once you get distracted by what's coming next, you're probably going to miss out on making sure that you awaken these units and obviously max them out because their Extreme Z Awakening medals are only obtainable by farming those events. Besides that, pretty much there's nothing else really to major the mansion. Um, at this point in time, just focus on gathering up your units and get ready for the next campaign.